So Southern cooking, it's all about tradition, family, and cozy afternoons on the porch. Belinda Smith Sullivan's new cookbook, Southern Sugar, is all that and more. It's a delicious look at cooking with your whole heart. We are cooking something Southern today. What are we making? Is this something from your childhood? Yes, this is called a crisp. Uh, some people refer to it as a crumble, but a crumble crisp, they're so similar that really it's easy to get them confused. But today we are making a crisp. And there's a difference, but let's get started. Okay, so a lot of this, of course, I've prepared, but we're going to start by making the crumble or the crisp that goes on top of the pie. I've already got my uh, butter that's chopped there in the food processor and using the food processor makes this process so much easier, although you can do it by hand. To the butter, we're going to add some flour, some sugar. This is torbinado sugar, but if you don't have torbinado or can't find it, it's okay. You can use half regular sugar and half brown sugar. Okay. Nutmeg, cinnamon, a pinch of salt, and some chopped uh, pecans. And this is the difference between a traditional crumble and a crisp. The Thank crisp you for answering that question. I was just going to ask you so that the nuts make it a crisp. A crisp. A crisp. I, I, when it's cooking, when it's when you take it out of the oven, it's a little bit more brown and has crisp, yeah. that crispness to it. And it's less dense than a crumble. I love so, it. Put all of these in your food processor and 15 to 20 seconds, this is what you come with. And this is the crisp or the topping that's going to go on the peaches. It looks good already. I need it just yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah. And what I recommend doing is making a double recipe of this and freezing the other half so that when you want another crisp, it's done. That's genius. I'm all about being economical with my time and cooking. There you go. <laughs> now, to make the pie itself, I've got peaches. Right. right here, Edgeville County. I live in the peach capital of the South. Yeah. So to our peaches, we're going to add, I've got some sugar with a little bit of cornstarch in it. Okay. I'm going to squeeze about a half a lemon. Okay. And, and the cornstarch is to thicken it up a little bit, right? It's to thick, exactly. Oh, you're a cook. <laughs> not, not, not very much, but I know a thing or two. Yeah. And of course, I pre-cut the uh, peaches. And what I want to say about the peaches is a lot of people will peel them. If you get them from the supermarket, they've already gone through the process of deep fuzzing. So there's really no need to peel your peaches. I never peel mine when I'm making a pie at home. I just cut them. I rinse them, of course, cut them up and put them in the pie. So okay, that is golden knowledge to know. Thank you for sharing that. I had no idea they were defuzzed by the time they got to the grocery store. Yeah, now, if you go to the orchard and pick them, they still have, then you want to peel them. But if you okay. get them at the supermarket, have you ever noticed that they almost look like nectarines? Because yes, the skin is so smooth, so there's no need to peel them. Okay, so we're going to put this mixture here mm. in our pie bowl. Shake it up a little bit. And then just pour the crumble right on top. Eh, maybe you're not going to be as messy as I am, but that's OK. I, I guarantee I will be. Um, but you know what I love about this so much, Belinda, is that it's so approachable. Like, oh, if yes. you, even not if you're not a great chef, I, you could make this and impress your neighbors. I always say your 10-year-old could do this. <laughs> My, okay. my eight-year-old Mike this weekend. <laughs> and there's your crisp ready to go in the oven. That is beautiful. Now it's been baking in the oven for 45 minutes and it's ready. <laughs> magic of TV. Oh my gosh. And speaking of magic, that's just like magical. Yeah. Mm, I do love a little Southern that sugar crisp. great, right? Oh, it did look so good. Um, the peach crisp, it looks so delicious and easy. Yep that we decided to make it ourselves. Belinda's That's also right. sharing the recipe with all of you. It's on our website. We thought we wanted to try it though. Yeah. Um, so the peaches look beautiful. Oh, they're really good. Yeah, there aren't that many peaches left. I was surprised it was a little bit more difficult to find them, but they're still there. I think you could do the same thing with apple crisps. Right. So I thank you so much, our producer extraordinaire here. <laughs>
I'm going to keep let's, eating these peaches unless we start cooking. Okay, let's do it. So <laughs> we're just going to follow what what she said, and I love the tip. I didn't know that about you don't have to Did you know the them? peaches were defuzzed in the grocery store? Is it because they spend all this time together and uh, whatever? They just rub, rub, <laughs> on, <laughs> rub on each other and the fuzz goes away? Okay. Family show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So she said just put all that in there. It's okay, regular so sugar. sugar. Um, Juice of one lemon, so let you squeeze that in, and well, then I'm gonna do this corn that's starch corn first. starch. That was to, like she said to thicken it up. Yeah. And so I'm gonna use the end of this to kind of get that in there. I'm gonna get some seeds in here, by the way. That's okay. I mean, that's all natural. It's natural. It's okay. My right? grandma literally puts whole lemons in this chicken dish. Really? But that's another story for another oh, time. Oh, because lemons cook down; they break down when yes, you're cooking. Exactly. Okay. I don't know baking and like come across a whole lemon in your pie. That seems weird. Okay. But <laughs> All right, I don't know. So we got. The, oh, okay. This is the filling. Yeah. So right? that's the filling. So just give that a stir. I'll so start then, stirring that. Let's see. She said um, cold butter. So this is a stick of cold butter. Okay. And turbinado sugar. Turbinado sugar. Yeah, what is that? Look Susie? at it. It's, it's um, it just seems like, like a sugar in the raw. Sugar. Yeah, it's the it? sugar in the raw. Okay. Yeah. Turbinado sugar. That's it's fancy. Fancy <laughs> sugar. Okay, and um, then flour and just uh, I. This is gluten free flour because you are gluten less. She's so good to me. Yeah. And then toasted pecans, which I also learned when you did this that that. That's the difference between a crisp and a crumble. A crisp and a crumble when there's nuts. Yeah. Um, which is something I had no idea. No we idea. learned a lot from this we cooking did. segment. Okay, I'll salt. tell you what. And then this is cinnamon. Cinnamon. I might have had a little bit of a heavy hand with that. And then this is nutmeg. And this is freshly ground nutmeg. Did you know? I, that is a nutmeg. Did you, did, you don't have to freshly ground nutmeg, no, but no. you did that yourself. I, did, I always use these because they it smells so good. It's just kind of like oh, it fall. It does smell good. Right there. So you just. Yeah, you just grate any little mic plant. Okay, and then that she said that's it. I think, I hope, that's okay, everything. So All I'm right. gonna pour this. I keep you trying to get You can pour that in there out, while I, this is gonna be a little loud. Okay, ready? Let's get crazy here, yeah. Pretty good, but we'll look at it without cutting off our hands. Can I borrow your? Yeah, go right ahead. Yes, all right. Sometimes it all, the flour and stuff, might have to go another. Okay. So this will just, it, it is wet because of that butter. Yeah. But when the butter's cold too, um, that, that keeps it also from clumping, evidently. From oh, what I've learned. Oh, so because our butter wasn't cold, it kind of clumps? It could, well, it was a little bit cold, but not as mm. cold, but it'll still be delicious. And it seems like there's a lot down there. Uh, you know. <laughs> okay, we'll stir it all up because you know what she also said? <laughs> I'm a messy cook, all right? I like it. Um, <laughs> Please, the stress is wrenching. I know, okay. I'll do the messy part. She also said you could do this by hand, but she said it was much oh, easier. Oh, I like doing it by hand, yeah. though. I like well, do you want to get on you in there? Why? There's some butter well, that needs to be. Well, let me take off my rings first. Okay. I like, especially when I do meatballs, that's oh, yeah. what I love. Okay, so get so in there and break up a few of those gonna butter be chunks. Like, something's going to kill me right here. <laughs> I don't know if you took out the blade. <laughs> Viral moment on TV. <laughs> no, I did. I took it oh, out. Oh, wow. This is, this is getting really... Oh, it smells so good, too. It does smell really good. Okay. Um, so so then all, once you feel like it's all ready, you just put it on to the top of the pie. And that's <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm letting you do all. Okay, all right. Oh, I know. What if I need you to run the prompter? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Look at, look at um, this. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. We're gonna bake this up. We're gonna bake this up. All right. So this is going in the oven. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna try minutes. it before the end of the show. It's gonna be really good. I totally swear it's so good. Um, but up next, we are headed back out to the plaza. Check in with Darcy, yeah. and she's got some great tips on how to keep your sneakers looking fresh and new. I'll go back without any of this on.